Hey guys, look, if you're looking to call Bend home, and we hope that you are, the first thing you need to do is finish watching this video about food trucks. The second thing is you need to call us direct so we can help find you a home. Now, if there's one thing to know about Bend, it's that when we get onto something, uh, we fully commit to something. I mean, when we like something, we really like it. I guess you could say we're hyper trendy. You know, like breweries, paddle boards, parks. Yeah, <laughs> we got a shit ton of all of those. Well, the latest craze sweeping bend is food truck lots. Yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. John, those are popular everywhere right now, but Bend's a little different. You see, we're a pretty small town and we've got like, how, uh, we've got a lot of food trucks. It doesn't matter how many there are. Don't worry about how many there are. We've got a lot of them for a small town inside Bend. So today we're gonna break down the top six food trucks in Bend. Here we go. Full disclosure, we just picked a handful of food trucks, ones that we know of that we like. This is in no means a best of food trucks. We're not critics. I just don't care that much. I like a little bit of everything. And again, about only half of these are actual dedicated food lots, and the other are like brick and mortar areas that also have food trucks that are parked near them or you know within the vicinity of them. So don't shoot the messenger. If we left your food truck lot or your favorite one off of the list, we apologize. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Maybe people will see it and uh, decide to uh, visit your establishment. Ben just has great food. Ben just has great food in general. It's a known thing. Number one, on tap. This is probably one of the more local places, primarily because it's located on the east side of town near the hospital. Remember what I said about the east side? Locals. And for a long time, there wasn't one on the east side at all. And so, you know, the east side got jealous and now we have two. Honorable mentions out there to River Place. It's over near Costco. Very good, but not quite what On Tap is. Anyway, On Tap, as you guessed it, has tons of beers. Anyone? Yes, On Tap. And they have a great assortment of local food trucks, including Barrio, you'll see them later, Kirby Q, Jackaroo's Aussie Pies, have you had an Aussie Pie? Uh, Philly style cheesesteaks, the Blue Rooster, and Himalayan Bites. Oh, and COVID has obviously screwed a lot of stuff up, but On Tap is one of the better places to go to find live music when, when, when they have it. Number two. Midtown Yacht Club. Formerly the Deschutes Brewery Gravel Parking Lot Yacht Club, now in a more convenient Midtown location. The Yacht Club is not your stuffy dinner jacket members only club. It's hip and cool and located over in Midtown, which is also hip and cool. Again, with beers on tap and a great assortment of local food truck vendors from a truck that specializes in tater tots? <laughs> yeah! To especially hot dog stand, cowboy pasta, and a great Israeli place, you know? And again, yes, Barrio. Midtown Yacht Club also has a great indoor dining space, uh, fully enclosed and fully indoors, which is really convenient when it comes to grabbing lunch on a really cold winter day. Number three, The Lot. The OG, the original gangster, The Lot. Well, I don't know if it's actually truly the original gangster. But anyway, it's certainly the first big popular food truck lot that I remember going to that kind of sparked the whole party. And then everyone else came in. This one is located on Columbia, just off of Galveston. Check out that bus. Ha! <laughs> Super cool. And with a name like frickin' Faco, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> But you know it's gonna be good, right? <laughs> Burgers and Dogs, Greek Street, and a la carte are some of the awesome offerings here at The Lot. The Lot also has plenty of beers on tap and a great open air covered sitting area. It's my favorite when I'm out and about working in the summertime. Plus, when things are more normal, uh, or when they return to normal, uh, The Lot always had great events like live music, uh, trivia nights, bingo Mondays, open mic nights, definitely a place you want to get down to and check out. 
And finally, it is walking distance to all of the fun hotspots along Galveston and around the corner in downtown Bend. Okay, so welcome to the hippest, coolest new part of town. The box factory was a factory where they made boxes and it was connected to the Brooks Scanlon lumber mill because Ben was a mill town, but you knew that, right? The box factory building is over a hundred years old. But why am I talking about this, you ask? Hmm, because it has become one of the most popular new areas of Bend. And, well, because the next three food truck lots that we're talking about literally surround the box factory. Number four, Podski. To me, <clears throat> some places have more of a lunch vibe to them. Some are dinner-esque. And some are a little more uh, breakfasty inspired, I suppose. But Potsky to me is definitely a dinner slash after dinner establishment. It's practically a watering hole with food, lots of food. Although it might not look like it from this footage right now, Potsky is definitely one of the coolest nighttime vibes in Bend. Located right across the street from two other very popular watering holes, River Pig and Bledsoe Family Vineyard. This place probably has the largest selection of food trucks of all of the food truck lots we're talking about. Um, in fact, it's got so many, I can't, I'm, just check out the footage. I'm not gonna name them all, but they all have very, very good food. The bar is great. The location is great. And if you're visiting the area, you should absolutely check out Podski. It just, it just feels like vacation. Number five, Spoken Moto. This here is like a, uh, well, it's a coffee bar. Enough said, right? And at least one of the food trucks has a killer breakfast burrito. So yeah, this, this place is, this is kind of got a morning vibe, but don't let that keep you from snagging a beer around lunchtime or even in the evening, because you know, they've got uh, you know, a bar and beer there as well. Spoken Moto easily has the coolest interior, indoor, vibes of all the places that we're talking about today. Great for meeting clients or friends or clients who are also friends, you know. You'll regularly find people here using it as a sort of like a office space, uh, working from home kind of space, while sipping on either coffee or beer, depending on the time of the day, and admiring the custom motorcycles that are on display throughout the shop. These guys are total gearheads and love restoring old vintage motos to, you know, their mint condition. I hope I said that right, I don't, I don't even know. Occasionally, you're gonna get hungry, and that's where the outdoor dining comes into play. Northwest Wings, Scout Post, and Stone Pie Pizza are a few of the staples here. I don't wanna pick sides, but this place definitely has some of my personal favorite food offerings. Oh, and don't forget to check out the great merchandise that Spokamoto has to offer. It's, I mean, it's just, well, You'll see, just go there. You'll check it out, you'll see for yourself. You'll know what I'm talking about. Number six. Six? Number six, Crosscut. Crosscut warming hut number five. Where's one through four? Don't know. So yeah, Crosscut isn't the biggest or the baddest, but it is the newest and in a pretty phenomenal location. Tucked between the old mill and the box factory, Crosscut is like, literally just in your way. It's just in the way. It's so in the right location that it's in your way. When trying to get around more of the popular areas of Bend, you will almost assuredly run into it. It's right in a killer spot. Anyway, this is a really cool new tap room uh, filled with tons of beer on draft, uh, as well as a hefty wine list, and it has a very warm, cozy, cabiny feel on the inside. Then of course, you got the food vendors on the outside, such as Incredible, Abe Capanas, Detroit Pan Pizza, and Gyro Power uh, Greek food can also be found here. Guys, the pizza, mm. you're gonna thank me later, I promise. Honorable mention is the bite in Tumlo, but it's in Tumlo, so we're not really touching that. You know, tell you what, what we'll probably do is a standalone video 
Tumalo by itself, a whole video about Tumalo, in which case we will talk about the bike because it is absolutely one of the best food trucks. Uh, well, it's the only one in Tumalo, but it's one of the best ones in general as well. So we'll get back to that later. Don't hate on the fact that I didn't talk about the bike, okay? So there you have it. Six, count them, six food trucks in Bend for your Tate's Buds to dance with. Now I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe because you already know that's what I want you to do anyway. Um, but hey, you know what? If you've been to some of these food trucks, you've got some uh, preferences of your own, let us know down in the comments section below so other people can know uh, more opinions. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers.